a dairy herd grazing, one of the enduring sites of the British countryside. But for how much longer? Over the last decade, we have lost almost half our dairy farms as farmers struggle to make a profit. Under constant pressure to reduce the cost of milk production and faced with an increasingly uncertain future, the UK dairy industry has reached a crossroads with debate polarised over the best way forward. We've got centralised distribution and processing, we've got fewer larger retailers trying to streamline the whole food supply chain and actually now trying to drive down cost of production right through that chain and pushing pressure back onto dairy farmers. And essentially it's our market and the way in which our, our, our product is, is, is sold and distributed that's probably the key problem for us. Some farmers are now considering investing in huge American style mega dairies where cows are kept by their thousand and milked intensively. I'm really actually very concerned that this kind of uh, belief that fewer, bigger farms is the way forward doesn't actually provide a truly sustainable solution to our food supply needs. And in effect, small producers being penalised, so the milk price they're actually getting is lower on many small farms. So I do think that de mega dairy is actually, first of all, economically will disadvantage smaller farmers, but also I think there is a danger that we'll see these cows moving to fewer bigger farms where they tend to be confined away from the public gaze and we're actually distancing ourselves further and further from the consumer. However, in a new report, the World Society for the Protection of Animals says that the concept of factory-like giant dairy farms is completely flawed. In its report, weighing up the economics of dairy farming, the animal charity says that mega dairy models are not sustainable in the UK, that instead farmers should be championed to adopt pasture-based systems rather than keeping their herds indoors and that different varieties of cattle should be used. While these cows would produce less milk each day, they will live longer and healthier lives and ultimately be worth more. Well, the vision that we have at WSPA for the uh, future of the dairy industry is very different, in fact, uh, from the message that we keep hearing again and again about either scaling up or getting out. We believe that there is a third way, a very powerful third way. The report, endorsed by farmers, economic experts and successful businesswoman Deborah Meaden, outlines how small-scale pasture-based farming can make up to 5p more per litre, regardless of milk price and market value. So it seems that a radically simple grassroots approach could be the key to sustainable milk production in the UK and a more secure future for our thousands of dairy farms. We need to ask our supermarkets, we need to ask the local shops where we buy our milk, has it come from cows that are able to uh, graze on green grass or is it factory milk from battery cows?